Welcome back to Echo. We've gotten about half of the blue orbs. We've gotten more than enough to open the door, but I want to try getting every single one of them to see if something special happens. And there should be tuning forks and energy things along the way, so even if nothing happens, shouldn't be a waste of time. So I've done sort of like two, I don't know, quadrants, like one over here and one here. But as you can see, there's some more that way and that way. So, let's continue on going around the outskirts of this massive palace. Ooh. Tuning fork down there, I think. head on over to that elevator. Yeah, let's do that. Safe thing over there too, and a tuning fork. Yep, we got some blue orbs beneath us. Yes, I don't think they know how to use doors, so this is a little protected area. And I forgot to get you. Look at him jumping over things.
It's interesting. They know how to like jump over railings, but not not like vault over these things. It seems like otherwise they would have came straight for me, right? Okay, I think I got them all on this place. I did open up... Oh. Ooh. I did open up another bridge somewhere else. I don't remember if there's any blue things past it, though. I, I'm not sure. Let's check real quick. Oh yeah, I opened that one. Yep, there's a couple over there. Little mini platform with no elevator access. I'll move on to this one. Yeah, I'll press my luck a little bit. I think I've mentioned this before, but I just want to mention it again. The feeling of a flow in this game, like the way just playing it feels and how it flows and... And the cycles of darkness and resetting and darkness and resetting and everything. It just feels fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It just feels so intuitive and and comfortable and and engaging. All right, I think we actually have all the blue things down here. I think the rest of them are maybe maybe here. It's always scary when I go up an elevator cuz there is very little cover and lots of people around. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's stand in this. Well, I can't tell if those are below, you know, in the center or actually below. But given that you can see basically everything down there when you're on the lower level, I didn't see any blue. Okay. Ooh. 
Whoa. Yeah, so let's start to move to the interior. I think I'm pretty sure I'm not safe behind this thing. <laughs> for them to go away. actually takes me to the main place. So yeah, just a quick look around. Yeah, all the blue things are up above. Okay. Looks like they're just, yeah, they're just all on a huge ring around the center. Alright, that should be pretty straightforward to get. will be the final one. Yeah, nice.
they know how to sprint. I just saw one jogging around. Yep, they're just jogging around having fun. That casual jogging is not good for remaining undetected. Gotta be careful about sprinting. Jogging this way, stop jogging this way. <laughs> Only seven left, then we got them all. I hope something happens. I'm not expecting it though. This is the final one! I... don't think anything special happened. Unless our reward has yet to be seen. Hmm. Yeah, don't think it does anything. Okay, well, good to know. does do something, I think. Unlock body mass. Stick body enemies, sumo body enemies, or a randomized mix of the two can be activated from the main menu after the first playthrough has been completed. Oh. Oh, so it's not like an in-game thing, it's just like a bonus thing. And nothing that has anything to do with the story. Okay, well, I'm probably not going to bother then. Good to know it did something. Eternity has no beginning, no end, no limit. All there is already there. Variation is repetition. Action is remembrance. Change is stagnation. You seek your tomb, but death is not in it. Lie still, wait, in eternity forgotten. 
I would love to read that more dramatically and slowly, but it disappears so fast I gotta <laughs> just ram through it. You've been descending for almost two hours. 339 kilometers. We're getting close. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. My God. Feels like a place I'm gonna have to run through. It's, there's like nothing to hide behind. I wonder if there's any bonus things I should be looking out for though. Trying to go down or just to the side? I think I need to go in this direction towards that marker and then go down. going. Yeah. So that tactic is not gonna work here. The timing is just like, I'm not sure what to do here to avoid getting seen. Okay, now now's my time to go down here without being seen. Oh, but then I get seen by them. What? I guess I'm going to try to run for it again. Oh. Huh. Do I just need to shoot them all very slowly? Recharging my power all the time? I don't know. Or maybe... Is it finally time to start screaming? Well, I mean, that didn't accomplish much. Okay, I might be able to push him over. Come on. Yes. Okay. Making progress. seen. <laughs> I've only got one on my tail though. I think I think I'm gonna lose him. So yeah, we're okay. Okay. Whew.
Yeah, this timing here is just really, really tight. Much tighter than before. Who just saw me? Oh, there's a tuning fork down there. Oh no, there's tuning forks. That means I'm gonna have to look at this labyrinth on the other side too. Uh oh. Oh no, 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 they have guns now. Stamina, I don't have the stamina, I don't have the stamina. Now I have the stamina. Oh, this is not going well. Now we're going backwards. Ugh. Oh, man. I'm not sure what to do here. This is tricky. I can think of only one way that I'm confident would work, and that would be to very slowly and very boringly shoot, like, every single one. Maybe it wouldn't be that boring. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's just go guns blazing. Well, let's actually try to shoot more than one at a time, huh? Think we can get three? Nope. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is really hard. I'm sure the other side's exactly the same. Wow. Okay, I'll try taking them out one at a time instead of trying to force them into groups. That's gonna get us a lot of company. Gonna have to make use of these recharge stations. I'm gonna have to, like, frantically make use of them. Oh, I don't have the energy to descend. Oh! Now I don't have the energy to do that? Crap. I... Did we make it? Ah, not quite. Close. Very close. Oh, we're so close. I just gotta run for it. I wanna make sure I have enough stamina to push someone out of the way, though. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, I don't even know who shot me. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not getting the tuning force here. <laughs> yeah, this is a really frantic run, and you, it seems like you pretty much have to use your gun. 
frantic run of uh, trying to get these, you know, shoot people, get rechargeable, shoot people. I wanted to get both at the same time, but they didn't line up. Crap, I shot twice. Ah, I can't get the power before it goes dark. Okay, stuff is about to uh, reset, so I'm going to use this opportunity to run. Get closer to my destination! There we go. Yeah, they're forcing me to change up my tactics. It's interesting. Shit, am I going... Where, where am I going? There. Ooh, we're in a really good position now. I'm gonna be a little bit sneaky. Oh, there's two chargers over here. Yeah, it's fine. I'll distract him. Oh, there's a big charger over there. Wait, is there no other way? Can I jump down? No, I can't. I have to go this way. Crap. down. This one's... Well, I was gonna say it's harder than the last one because we need to get those two staffs, I think. That's what it looks like. And then probably open up a central door. But it actually might not be as hard because now there's actually stuff to hide behind. Yeah, that was an interesting change of pace. Before, I was able to use stealth pretty much all the time with, you know, the occasional run and push him over a railing and whatnot. But there you're basically forced to do some combat, which is interesting. I liked it. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to try to tackle this.